Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Acoustic Session series, hosted by me, Jake Davies. Today's episode looks at the top seven plectrums every guitarist should try, and why they stand apart from the classic 351 Fender plectrum. At number seven, if there's one variant of the 351 everyone should try, it's the shark fin. A classic in terms of audible plectra, its grooved sides create a slight chorus effect, and the fin side of it can be used for standard, unaltered picking. About as common as the 351, you shouldn't have any trouble finding them, and they're definitely worth a shot. At number six, it's ice picks, with their patented system meaning you'll never lose a plectrum again. Although it doesn't alter the sound, the inventive suction stickers mean your plectrum is securely fastened to your guitar and doesn't leave any sticky residue. Entering at number 5 is Pick Card USA, with another way to make sure you're never without a plectrum. A single credit card piece of plastic with four plectrums punched into it fits nicely into your wallet for easy storage, meaning you're always prepared. Plus a range of designs and the ability to pop the plectrum back in after use means that this is a solid investment for the gig-worthy guitarist. Although not technically a plectrum, in fourth place is the X1 Plectrum Grip from Big Rock Engineering, which provides a comfortable strip that eliminates overgripping fatigue. This lease of pressure on the plectrum means a more fluid performance is given. These grips can be bent and tweened to whatever position is good for you, and can be stuck onto your favourite plectrum, meaning you aren't moving away from what you used to, but simply applying an add-on. Third place goes to Wire Thing, the plastic metal hybrid which mixes the best of both worlds. The ergonomically designed Wire Thing combines the strength and clean sound of traditional metal picks with the lightweight and sure grip of plastic ones. Although the use of metal plectrums isn't a new thing, Wire Thing is a welcome addition to the market. The runner up and in second place is the Jellyfish Plectrum. Expanding on the chorus idea of the shark fin, the jellyfish has several metal wires of varying lengths, which each create varying degrees of resonance and is what gives it its bright chorus effect. As such, a jellyfish could be seen as more of a music tool than just a plectrum. And finally, in first place is the light pick from Santa Cruz, and if you can buy the bullet for $70 you can have it. Its basic function is a plectrum shaped case with several LEDs inside, which when turned on in the flurry of fast picking or strumming, creates a dazzling display of minimal effort. It starts at around $25, but for the top end selection, including a built in metronome system and a choice of colours, it can go up to $70. However, the range of colours, the unique visual effect, and interchangeable plectrum tips to vary the gauge, this is definitely a musical investment rather than just another plectrum to replace the one you broke after rocking out too hard. And that concludes this episode, keep on the lookout for more episodes in the future while I'll be looking at other guitar based oddities and performing, but until then thanks for watching and goodbye.